Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now, we have the distinct honor to speak with singer-songwriter Matt Legrand. He is being called Chicago's Prince of Pop. Matt, thanks for being here today. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on Park City. I, I appreciate it so much. How are Thanks. you this morning? I'm doing well. It's great to connect with you, and we're thankful that you're spending some time with us right here on Park City Television. I'd love to hear more about you. Tell me about your background and what really has led you to the career that you're in right now. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I grew up, uh, I was born in Chicago, and I grew up in France for uh, about six years, and I uh, came back when I was six years old, and you know, growing up, I, I, I obviously being part of two different cultures, um, I, had, I had a lot of inspiration, different inspirations, and um, I had a lot of passions growing up as well. Uh, but somehow I landed onto music, and um, you know, with hockey, skateboarding, uh, juggling was a huge passion of mine as well. Um, I was going to be a professional juggler. That's that's a real thing. Um, but I always reverted back to music, always. That was, that was always um, in the background, and now I'm here today. I'm doing it. And when you talk about always reverting back to music and deciding to go that route instead of the juggling route, were there <laughs> any artists or songs or performances that really inspired you to focus on music? Yes, absolutely. I have to say it was um, the first concert I ever went to, which was a Rolling Stones concert hell of a concert for an 11 year old especially too. Uh, but my, my, my mother is a huge fan of, uh, of the Stones and I got to go and seeing Mick Jagger up there and Keith Richards and, and everybody else, like I fell in love with the idea of telling your story on just a, a humongous stage. Um, and two weeks after that, my mom bought me my first guitar and uh, I started studying. Now I'm here today. <laughs> And here you are today. So connect the dots for me. You went from that incredible concert at a really young age to starting this very successful career. What was the catalyst? What happened in between then and now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I um, when, when my mom got me that guitar, I, I told myself, I'm going to get really good at it. And the funny thing is that my brother took that guitar and he became an outstanding musician as well. So. Um, I don't know, it was kind of this like brotherly banter, this competition almost maybe um, that, you know, we wanted to get better and better. And I think in high school, that's, that was really like um, the catalyst for it. In high school, I, I knew that um, my plans for my future um, didn't involve really anything to do with school. I, I, I knew I wanted to do music and I kind of just jumped in. And once you're in, you're in, you gotta go for it. So. Face plant or sore, I'm, I'm all in and um, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be doing it. And you have been soaring. You've had quite a lot of early success. Tell me about where you've been and where you hope to be. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't always start in the easiest of, of, of ways. And, um, you know, you have, to, you, have to come, you have to come through certain things. And um, it's hard to... It's hard to, to, to get the people, the correct people around you prior. It's, it's, it's really important and um, it's, it's a really, really hard thing to find. And I'm blessed that I have found uh, people that one, just care about my music and care about me as a person as well and, and just want to see me um, succeed and, and, and be happy. And um, I'm so excited with this EP coming out. We've developed a sound that I'm just, very excited for and I'm just excited for continuing to develop myself as a person and um, I hope to see people as well in performances again um, you know not just over computer but hey we do we, we, we do with the you know with what we got so um, yeah that's where I'm going and what artists inspire you now what genres are you emulating where if you were to describe your music what would that be yeah absolutely I, I always describe my music as, as something that's just constantly evolving uh, but I, I uh, on this specific EP I'm just I'm drawn a lot by um, just Justin Timberlake the way the way the way he he moves and is able to sing I've 
done dance courses a lot through the past four years, and let me tell you, that's 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 a nearly impossible thing to do is, is dance and sing at the same time. And I've I've been trying to um, you know just get in there and study it and and get better. Um, so I think Justin Timberlake is 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 a big big influence of mine. Um, how he is on stage and off the stage as well. And this new single, Crazy Batcha, was very recently released. What inspired you to write this song? And will you perform some of it for us? I will definitely perform some of it for you, an acoustic version for you. Um, it, was, it was a really, really cool idea uh, from my manager, Bryant Reed. Uh, he, had, he had the idea to bring in a sound from a different time. Um, and uh, the, song, the song Jungle Jazz by Cool and the Gang uh, we're actually using a sample from there. Uh, so it was used by, well, it was created by them, and then it was used in the 90s by a group called Jade in the song Don't Walk Away. And now it's being used in 2020 by Matt LeGrand. So it's a really fun track. Um, I always just picture just rolling down the windows, bump into it. Um, I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of it and um, to see what it's doing right now and to see people having fun is is where I get my, my joy and happiness. Well, we are looking forward to hearing it and an acoustic yeah. version, so go for it. Let's do it. So this is crazy about you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was wonderful. I love this acoustic version, and I encourage everyone to hear the regular version, the other version. But again, I always love an acoustic version. You did a really fabulous job. Where can people watch the video, hear your music, and find out more about you? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that was an acoustic version. But please, please, please go check out the fully produced version with the sample. Uh, get it on Spotify, on all streaming platforms. And the best way to connect with me is definitely my Instagram. That's at Matt Legrand Official, Twitter, Matty Legrand, and YouTube, Matt Legrand. Facebook, Matt Legrand, all across the board. Uh, thank you so much, Park City TV. I appreciate you so much. Well, thank you so much, Matt Legrand, for joining us today. It's been a pleasure hearing more about you, your journey in music, and hearing that performance. You can find out more about Matt Legrand. He mentioned all the places you can hear his music. You can also follow him on Instagram. We're back with more right after this. <laughs> 